the just concluded 77th BAFTA award, an award honoring the best national and foreign films, was live at the Royal Festival Hall in London. And while some of our favorite celebrities showed up serving nothing but hot fashions, others looked a hot boo-boo mess. Here are the top 10 was dressed at the BAFTA Awards 2024. So yeah, let's get right into the video. <laughs> First up on our list, she definitely should have danced the night away and not shown up in this dress. We have the ever-talented Dua Lipa and for the BAFTA Awards 2024, she has on this long chiffon red dress by Mason Valentino and she was styled by the ever-talented Lorenzo Prosoco and honestly, where to begin? It's obvious that I did not enjoy this look on the red carpet and I will tell you why shortly. Now, I feel like this was a tad bit too lazy in terms of, you know, it's been on the red carpet it was giving me very brunch with the girls very laid back and not very much the red carpet of an award show also i feel like she is trying too hard to experiment with her fashion and to be honest i'd rather her just stick to what works for her because dua is a body girl through and through and i lose all of that in this outfit and that's a big no-no for me now let's not even talk about that hair now i rather would have had it you know maybe blonde or like just black anything but this you know wine burgundy hair because it just looks so diabolical so yeah i just didn't enjoy this look and it's a chop for me sorry up next we have the thanos of the award shows this season because it's been snatching all the award we have the insanely talented ayo edebri and for the bafta awards 2024 she has on this coral long dress with an ostrich feathered white coat by new bottega and tonight she was styled by no other than danielle goldberg and honestly why am i not surprised that she has made this list once again first of all i don't know what it is but that coral dress really looks tacky on her and i don't know if it's a fit issue or if it's just the outfit in itself also i really don't know what they were going for by adding that you know ostrich feathered overcoat but it's just so out of place with the entire outfit the gloves are a no-no the hair looks a mess and overall it's just a bit tired and wonky to me i love the shoes though if that counts for anything anyways this look from ayoye debri is definitely a chop for me up next she once said check your lipstick before you talk to me well she should have probably double checked that outfit before she stepped onto the red carpet of the baftas we have the supermodel of the world naomi campbell and for the bafta award she has on this black satin and mesh long dress with a hoodie moment by chanel and this is so goddamn awful i can't even you know begin to take this seriously now this is giving me very witchy witch vibes with that hoodie detail i mean the lady morgana if you're nasty also the choice of fabric of this dress is just very questionable because when she stands under the light of the red carpet it just looks really cheap also that belt was a no-no for me the shoes are probably the most hideous things i've seen in a while and to be honest it just feels like all of this is a prank she's probably cosplaying like a lady with zero fashion sense and i just can't wait for her to tell us you know it's a joke and really serve what she's supposed to serve so yeah overall this look was a total disaster and it's a chop for me up next we have the gorgeous emma stone and for the bafta award she had on this peach single sleeve asymmetrical dress by louis vuitton and tonight she was styled by the incredible petra flannery um this is a no for me i immediately don't live for this and i don't know what am i really looking at and why does it look this way to begin with now let's get into it first of all the structure of the dress it just looks very stiff and very boxy and it doesn't really encourage any form of shape which i don't love second of all the mix and match of different textures on the fabric it just seems a bit overwhelming to me now the two different fabric type at the borders area coming down to that mesh fabric down to this fabric that really reminds me of a duvet it's just a lot you have to admit it's giving we're just trained on anything to see what sticks at this point and it's a no-no for me so yeah this look is an absolute chop from emma stones 
up next we have barry keegan and for the bafta award he has on this army green cropped suit and pants moment and someone needs to tell me when he joined the military because it's giving i just got back from deployment and i just couldn't change so i headed to the bafta's award yeah it's giving just that honestly i can't lie i'm just a bit disappointed about this look because barry has definitely served us some good looks for previous award shows so i'm just just to be taken aback by this i'm not even sure i really love the color on him it doesn't just give me that pop that i know would suit him also the fit of the pants is just really ridiculous the shoes so hideous overall this was not a great fashion night for barry keegan and so yeah it's a chop for me up next we have the beautiful florence Pooh, and for the battles awards 2024 she has on this black velvet long dress with a silver over corset by harris reed and this dress is on this list because i really don't necessarily understand or think this dress fits as it should it's really not giving me that hourglass figure even though there's literally a corset on the dress it just looks a little bit droopy if i'm being honest and you know maybe because of the construction of the velvet material it looks quite heavy and clunky also i just wasn't a super fan of this silver corset thingy in the front and also the way the bra cup was cut out it's just not my you know favorite thing to do it makes her look like she is very flat chested and i know that's not the case i also really love the hair and the makeup but aside that nothing else is really hitting the mark for me so yeah this is definitely a chop for me up next we have the gorgeous emily blonde and tonight for the bafta's awards 2024 she has on this nude stone embellished gown by elisal and i don't know about you but i feel like this particular style of dress has been done and done and over flogged on the runway so in my mind i'm guessing if you want to do something like this you have to bring it you have to come correct and i just don't really feel like emily did that today i'm not really feeling the oversized vibes of the gown especially under her boobs area it looks a bit loose the sleeves it's just not really, it's not really my cup of tea to be honest it looks matronly and not in a good way the jewelry it also really looks very clunky everything is just pointing to the ground like she's about to fall over yeah i don't know about this one it's definitely a chop for me up next we have the insanely talented morphe Cillian, and tonight for the bafta award he has on this i really don't know what he has on to be honest because this is really just not giving me much to even talk about i mean if go give us nothing was a person this would be him personified i don't know this is giving very casual loungewear and not necessarily what you're supposed to be wearing to the red carpet of the baftas but then again when have we ever seen you know celia murphy really try to give us a fashion moment so yeah this again it's a bit wonky it's black it's basic it's just meh so yeah it's a chop for me up next we have the stunning emma corinne and tonight for the baftas award she has on this you know black two-piece number with a blue pantyhose and this whole ensemble is by Miu Miu I, I just know I'm just really confused as to what I'm looking at okay I get the cropped top aside that I mean it's just a hot boo-boo mess it definitely looks like someone stepped into smurf land because that's what it's giving i probably would have just done you know an all black ensemble keep it clean keep it classy keep it glamour but yeah this is giving very i don't know what this is giving but it's just not giving to me so yeah it's a chop for me last on our list we have the amazing sophie wilde and for the bathers award 2024 she has on this uh, black number I, i'm just a bit confused as to what i'm looking at it's it's a hot boo boo mess i'm sorry miss sophie but yeah this definitely also has to be a chop uh, yeah a chop for me Alright guys, we have come to the ending of today's video. In today's video, I share with you 
my top 10 worst dress at the BAFTAs Awards 2024. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give it a big fat thumbs up. It helps me a lot. And yeah, I would definitely see you guys at the next reading. But for now, it is bye guys. Au revoir.